Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And today I'd like to talk about Mercedes Benz ripoffs. That's right, Mercedes Benz ripoffs. And uh, I want to tell you a story. This is about a, uh, a Mercedes Benz E Class, an E320. And this is from a couple of years ago when Archie had just started the Archie Luxury program. I had a friend of mine who had a, uh, a W211, which was a, uh, an E-Class E320 Mercedes-Benz. And uh, I used pictures of that car in the introduction of my uh, Archie Luxury videos. And uh, anyhow, anyhow, what basically, what basically happened is that car belonged to a friend of mine. And uh, he said I could use it for a photo shoot if I uh, helped him get the uh, a small problem fixed. And uh, what happened is on the driver's console that controls all the electric windows and shit like that, there was a little switch that controlled the driver's headrest. And uh, what had happened is it looked to me like... Um, someone had a shirt, a long sleeve shirt, which got caught on that plastic switch and it, it broke the little plastic thing that was holding it in. Now, you could actually use a toothpick and it would still go up and down. So nothing was, was broken as far as the, um, nothing was broken as far as the electronics or anything like that. There was just a little plastic clip that clips in for the uh, driver's headrest was broken. So I said, hey, that's cool, I'll do it for you. And uh, I took it down to the Mercedes-Benz dealer and they've, they got a good, they got, they got a, a chef who's in a restaurant. This is in a Mercedes-Benz dealership. There's a chef who cooks food for you. Uh, it's all, it's, it's just so wonderful. They've gone to all this trouble, but fuck me dead, you know, Mercedes-Benz, they can't sell a little plastic clip. No! No. To get the fucking thing fixed, you need to spend about $846. $846 big fuckers. Because they had to replace the whole console. I mean, fuck. One thing I never understood with Mercedes-Benz is, why the fuck do they have a chef making food when they don't even have fucking parts inventory which allows them to spell, sell a 20 cent piece of fucking plastic no it's 846 dollars for the whole surround I mean it's just fucking ridiculous it's fucking ridiculous and uh, I don't know what to say I really don't know what the fuck to say this is a Mercedes Benz and they just gouge they fucking gouge you and uh, it's just nasty shit and uh, I had another friend of mine who had a he had a four-year-old Mercedes Benz it was an E500 okay so that that's it was also a W uh, 212, oh, sorry, W211, you know, that, that's the, the, the late 2000s, so 2005, 2006 sort of car, and uh, he, he had this fucking problem where it was giving an electrical fault, he took it into the fucking Benz dealer, and uh, they wanted about $1,500 to change the battery. $1,500. Now, the Mercedes E-Class, it actually uses two batteries. There's a main battery out front, and there's a smaller, it's like a bicycle battery in the boot. And uh, what a fucking scam. It was under warranty, and they said, well, naturally, the battery's not covered. Anyhow... What had happened is, because he, he had very low mileage, the car had about 40,000 clicks on it, very low mileage car, 
and uh, the problem actually was it wasn't the batteries because it had been used so little that um, as soon as it got some good charge in it it was fine and the fuckers they still charged $500 to diagnose the fault they're just nasty and he said well you've got a warranty but the warranty it's just nasty shit they said the warranty is only for things that are faulty he said with the battery it's a consumable therefore you've got to pay it's taken us a couple of hours to find this out therefore you got to pay and uh, what a mob of bastards that's all I can say you know they are uh, Mercedes-Benz you know probably you know they invented the automobile they invented it and they're gonna fucking gouge you for the rest of your life what a mob of bastards and uh, Mercedes-Benz I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to enter you into the, the automotive hall of shame here, Mercedes-Benz. Ever since Chrysler came on the scene, Daimler, Chrysler, it's been a fucking disaster. And uh, thank God that relationship ended badly. And uh, this is the whole thing. Mercedes-Benz in the 90s, notorious for rust, corrosion. You know, the best or nothing, that used to be the Mercedes mantra. It ain't fucking anymore. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. <laughs>